There's got to be something valuable around here. <sighs> Come on. I don't have much time. Ooh. This looks pricey. I'll take it just in case. Okay, and... Oh, crap. Ah, hello! Oh, uh, what am I doing in your house? Oh, sorry, I thought this was my house. I guess I got the wrong door. I'm, I'm so sorry. I've been... I've been working all day, and... <gasps> I'm just... So tired, you know? Oh, it's the middle of the day? Well, yeah. I worked overnight. I started working just before the sun came up. And now here I am. To somewhere where I thought was home. Oh, yeah, I'm your neighbor. So sorry. I guess they gave us the same key. You wanna see my key? Oh, give me one second. Oh, where did I leave it? So sorry, I'm just, I'm such a mess right now. But yeah, I entered the wrong apartment. I'm so sorry. Well, it was just really dark. I couldn't tell. Plus, our apartments are literally built the same. <laughs> you don't believe me? Oh, is it because I'm a new face around here? Well, like I said, my hours are completely different than yours. I'm a night owl. And I'm just gonna assume that you sleep the normal hours like everyone else. So, of course, due to our conflicting schedules, we're never going to see one another. But yeah, it is uh, great to meet you in this very weird circumstance. But it's time that I take my leave and go to my actual apartment. Oh, what's in the bag? Oh, it's my, uh, my stuff from work. Do you want to see what's inside the bag? Why does it interest you so much? It's just my belongings. You suspect that I'm some sort of thief? Oh, that is offensive. Who do you take me for? Listen. I know we just met, and you don't know anything about me. But something that you must know is I am a woman of my word. And trust me, there is nothing in this bag that is yours. <laughs> but fine, I'll just take your word for it. Imagine, yes, I am a thief. And you know how thieves just kind of go for any valuable thing, such as electronics, jewelry, any loose cash, credit cards, etc., etc., all that stuff. I don't think any of that is important compared to what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Let's just say the real value here is you. And if I truly was a thief, I'd love to steal your heart. So, if you truly want to do this little role-play thing, I'll play along. I'll be the thief you want me to be, and I'll steal you away. And show you the true value in you. Hmm, what do you say? <laughs> that shocked expression isn't an answer, you know. Besides... <sighs> like I said, I am so, so tired. I need to go off to bed soon. So, if we can make this quick, then I'll do it. But if you don't have an answer for me, then I'm afraid I'm just going to have to leave. Hmm. You still seem so suspicious of me. Hmm. <sighs> I don't blame you. Seeing some random girl like myself in your apartment, it would look very, very odd. But let me tell you, the moment you get to know me, those walls you put up to protect yourself will come crumbling down. 
and you'll become a vulnerable jewel of true value. <laughs> so what do you say, partner? Would you like to indulge? Or would you like to sit there with your suspicions all day long? Thinking about who I am isn't going to get you anywhere. I can promise you that. Take it from me. I think about a lot of things, and it always distracts me from what I really need to do. For example, the more I think about you, my goodness, it stalls me going to my actual apartment and going to bed. Because I'm so, so tired. But at the same time, I'm so infatuated with you. You seem like an interesting fellow, and we met on such weird terms. It would be kind of sad if we just left on awkward terms and never talked to one another. We're neighbors. We might as well get to know one another. And I guess this is the way we're going to do it. So, I'll take my options. And if things go smoothly, then hey, maybe something will form out of this. But I need you to reciprocate that as well. And all these suspicions and doubts is preventing you from doing that. So come on, what do you say? Let's be partners in crime. Let's become friends. Or maybe something even more than that. The choice is yours. I've already made my decision, so I'm excited to see what you have to say. <laughs> Reluctant now, are we? You know, my mother always told me, when you're hesitant, it truly shows that you're thinking about it. You're not opposed to the idea, more so thinking. How will this work for the future? What will I do? What do I expect? And how will I feel? <laughs> well, that is a journey on its own. And I'm an adventurer of some sort, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'd love to find out all of those things alongside you. A little self-discovery never hurt anybody. And besides, I'm intrigued to know how you would feel. Especially how you feel towards me. Because I can tell on the way you look at me. You have some thoughts you want to express, but you're too nervous, or too shy, or maybe a mixture of both. But hey, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And <laughs> I can stall my bedtime for this. Well, of course, I'm way too intrigued now. I'm already this deep into it. I can't really just stop and turn around. I feel like if I stop now, we won't be able to look at each other the same anymore. Which is not what I want, especially for the both of us. Even if I leave here right now, I would want us to be friends. I'd like to go out to lunch with you. Maybe have a talk and, you know, truly get to know one another under normal circumstances. But it's not every day where you get a situation like this. So we might as well do whatever we can to preserve this very, very unique moment. <laughs> and besides, imagine this. If the two of us really mix very well together and have a future together, imagine the stories we can tell to our future generation. It'd be the story of a lifetime. No one would ever believe us. But we would know that it's true. And that it indeed happened. <laughs> I would consider that a flex, almost. So, after all that deliberation and all that talk, I feel like I can ask you this again. Will you allow me to be a thief? And steal your heart? Hmm, there you go being reluctant again. 
Is there truly something on your mind? There is. Well, well, well. Do tell. Uh, you wish to review the security cameras? Oh, uh, wh why is that? I mean, I just explained to you what was going on. You just want to make sure? I see. Well, I don't blame you for wanting to check, but I can assure you this is truly what happened. Where's that reluctancy now? Oh, so now you want to get to the point. You don't make any sense. Yet, you still intrigue me. Fine, fine. I'll save you a few minutes of your time. Yes, I indeed am a thief, and in that bag of mine is literally all of your belongings. Keep it. I don't want it anymore. Besides, if I truly want to make this work, I need to be on your good side. And stealing your belongings is kind of not a way to do it. So, uh, my apologies for stealing those, or attempting to steal those. But I can assure you, now that I've gotten to know you a bit more, I will never steal from you again, unless it's your feelings. <laughs> like I said before, that is something I find truly valuable. You're a gem, a gem I truly want to take for my own. <laughs> And one day I will make you mine. Well, let's just say, I'm experienced in this matter. And when I want something as valuable as you, I'll do what I can to get what I want. <laughs> Until then, I will see myself out. The whole shabacle of me being tired is actually true. I am exhausted. So I am going to go to bed. And no, I'm not your neighbor. But I'll stop by occasionally. This isn't the last time you'll hear from me. So, you might as well get used to it. <laughs> See you around, my vulnerable jewel. I'll be here to collect you when the day arrives. <laughs> Thank you.